It is single is today at number 17, and it's climbing. But Kate herself is 6,000 miles away, trying to make her name and her fortune in one of the biggest pop markets in the world, Japan. Some British groups have already made it big there, and now Kate Bush is having a go. She is making her debut in Japan at one of the world's biggest song contests in Tokyo. Bob Friend, the BBC News correspondent in Japan, has sent us this report. British pop star Kate Bush, her first appearance before a major live audience in a country where they don't speak her language. The Japanese pop market, one of the biggest in the world, is a tough one. But if, as her record company hopes, Kate does become popular here, then the rewards will have made the hard work and the tension all worthwhile. With a very tight schedule before the contest itself, Kate had very few moments to relax. As a newcomer to Japan, she was anxious to learn at least something about its ancient culture. It can be a very confusing country. One of the obvious problems faced by British business, and that includes the record industry, is of course the language. The guide who took us around this Shinto shrine knew that Kate was anxious to find out about his country's traditions, and made certain she did everything properly. But the break was all too brief. It was back to the real reason for her visit, the Japanese song contest. For instance, she had to adjust to her Japanese backing group. Then there were problems with the microphone. Kate moves around so much, she can't get used to an ordinary one. As this was Kate's first visit to Japan, she had to spend much of her time selling herself to the Japanese. And that, of course, involved endless interviews with local reporters. The rehearsal's over and the microphone problem solved, it was time for the contest. The 7th Tokyo Music Festival International Contest. Fifteen competitors from America, Japan, Britain and other parts of the world. Intense competition for a young British singer who'd never actually sung before a major audience before. Mike Heatley, who came to Japan with Kate to represent the record company who handled her, was waiting nervously to see how she would do. One of the obvious problems is, of course, that so far, um, as you say, Kate is not that well known here. And we're hoping that, you know, fingers crossed that the festival will bring off something. Kate did well, but not quite well enough. The contest was won by American singer Al Green. Congratulations, Al Green! But everyone with Kate seemed to think she should have been more than satisfied with the silver medal in what was, after all, her first pop contest. The winner will receive 600,000 yen and a The Japanese audience certainly seemed to enjoy Kate's act but that was in the atmosphere of the concert hall. What would the rest of the record buying public think of her very original style? That was a question I put to a leading Japanese disc jockey who was at the pop contest. Ah, uh, yes, tonight it's televised all over Japan. So this is her big moment because everyone can, could see her rather than just listen to her, see. And her movement is really unique and uh, her looks is very good because uh, we're not very big people and Kate Bush is also not very big and she's very pretty. What sort of uh, reaction do you think you've got from the Japanese because you have been talking to them haven't you? Yes, I must admit I think it's a little hard to tell because they're very different people from us and I'm not sure if they actually say what they feel but the reactions I have been getting are really nice, very good. Kate Bush and that's all today from the three of us so bye for now. Bye.